Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So in my last video, I kind of went on a little bit of a rant about Fusion 360 and the creation of a bill of materials. Uh, now, I, I've done a little bit of investigating, I've done some Googling, I've poked around the interwebs, and I stumbled across a plugin for Fusion that makes generating the bill of materials uh, significantly easier. Now, I actually found two plugins. One was a paid plugin with an annual fee, and the other one was a free plugin that just simply generates a CSV file from, from the structure of your design. And so I have installed that plugin. I will talk about later how to actually go through that process and where to find it. But I've installed this plugin, I've played around with it, and I've come up with an alternate way of doing a, uh, a design. Well, it's actually a parametric design and then creating components out of the parametric design and then generating you know, build materials from there. That is a little bit better than, uh, well, a lot better than what I showed in the last video. Again, if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it up there. Um, where creating everything out of components and then moving the components around. So uh, I'll cut over to Fusion here. I'll fast forward through the, I'm gonna create a, a real quick uh, stand, very similar from what I created last time. Uh, kind of fast forward through that process and then I'll show you how, what the process is of, uh, you know, creating components from the bodies and then as well as uh, generating the, f the output file. So let's, uh, let's cut over to Fusion. Okay, so here we have, this is our little stand. It is 30 inches wide, it is 20 inches deep. Uh, it's got two by sixes on the outside, you can see here. Um, and it's got a little uh, two by four frame to hold everything together. Uh, pretty typical, easy to build, no special joinery. Um, super, super easy to do. Okay, so how do we, how do we turn this into a component? A set of components that make sense. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name all of our bodies uh, so that when we do turn them in the components and generate the bill materials, it'll kind of make sense. So let's start here. Uh, all right, so now you can see here we have the different uh, bodies named. Um, very straightforward. Um, so we're gonna right click bodies and say, create components from bodies. Boom, now we suddenly have all these different components, right, all in the master component here. Next, very simple, I've installed my plugin, which I will explain how to do that at some point. Uh, create, create bill of materials. It's gonna pop open this list here, say, Include dimension, yes, right? Separate dimension, that's fine. Um, blah, 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 blah. Additional physics, we don't need any of this right now. A cut list, don't need a cut list, and I'll show you why in a minute. And then include description, we didn't do any description, so we're fine. We'll click OK. It's gonna say, hey, what do you wanna call it? I'm gonna call it uh, work stand, right? It says it's been written, check. All right, so let's go here. Let's open it. There you go. So here's our work stand. <clears throat> oh, zoom in. So what you can see here is we have our legs. It automatically took the numbers here off, uh, which was helpful. I didn't ask it to do that, but it was smart enough to figure that out somehow. Uh, frame. Uh, again, all of our frame parts here and then our work surface. So the first thing that we can do is we can <coughs> uh, combine all these into one row if we wanted to, right? So these are all, these legs are all the same size, right? So this is a manual activity. I get that. Uh, the, 
you know, the application's not smart enough to figure this out because of the way in which we did this. Um, had we done components and copied the components so that the components were actually the same thing, uh, instead of just bodies that were new components, it would automatically roll them up, and I'll show you that in a different, uh, a different project. But here, uh, these are all the same, so we can just say four. So there's our cut list. Uh, we need four legs, uh, we need four frame pieces that are 17 inches long, and we need four frame pieces that are 30 inches long and two work surfaces. That simple. Okay, so uh, that was super simple. I'm going to uh, cut over to another project and show you a more complicated example. All right, so you will remember this from my previous video. If you haven't watched the video, link it up there. Uh, this is all the components here off to the side. I actually created components. I copied them. I moved them around so it's not parametric, uh, but they're all individual components. So let's go ahead and do exactly the same thing. Right, we will say we want to create a bill of materials, right? Right on. So what is the big difference here the big difference is because of the way we created it right pull that up a little bit so it's easy to see um, the quantities came through automatically because the components were identical and they were just instances of one component instead of instances of bodies that were not associated to each other i'm still looking for a way that when i create the components from the bodies that it recognizes that they're the same thing um, I don't know how to do that, to be quite honest with you, uh, and I don't know that it's possible. Um, but this obviously generates a succinct cut list that you don't have to muck with in the end. Uh, but the key thing here is the length and width, right? That's all transposed over as well as this guy, right? Um, and what we didn't have to do in this one here uh, is we didn't have to name the parts by their sizes, right? It just picked up the sizes from the drawing itself, which is super helpful. Um, uh, now you don't necessarily know that it's a two by four um, or a two by six or whatever like you do over here, but you get the idea. It's, it's a little bit easier to use. All right, so during the video, I mentioned the plugin and I just wanted to show you very quickly where to find it. I will put a link down below to the plugin and just kind of give you a voiceover how to install it, although the installation process is about as easy as you could possibly imagine. So let's uh, cut over to the browser. Okay, so here we are in the browser. We are in the App Store for Autodesk. Uh, this is the plugin I was mentioning. It's called CSV Bomb by Peter here. We'll attempt to pronounce his last name. Uh, so all you have to do is select your operating system here, uh, click download. Uh, for the Macintosh, it's going to download a package file. Uh, you double click it, say it's okay to install. You install it, restart Fusion, and that's the installation process. Not a whole lot of magic there. I will leave the link to this plugin down below if anyone wants to try it out. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that is uh, a quick tutorial on making uh, uh, the drawing in the stand, uh, how to turn them, uh, the bodies into components. Uh, once you have components, you can generate the bill of materials, edit the bill of materials, and also a quick little, uh, uh, I don't know, call it a tutorial, uh, what if you want to call it, uh, where we installed a plugin or at least went to a web page and showed you how to download the plugin. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to, you know, obviously change my workflow a little bit, I think, uh, but it's all good. I'm going to continue to look for ways to refine the workflow so that you don't have to edit the spreadsheet after the fact. And if I find something, I will report back. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this long. All right, that's it. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. Appreciate it. Uh, as always, if you don't like the video, thumbs up anyway. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, watch the whole video, link the content, share it, tell your friends, go out, make billboards and print signs. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great day. whatever uh ah uh, for Christ's sake go lay down go lay down go lay down I'll be right back